Hi, this is Luang from Google Tech and happy to see you again. Six months ago, Prusa released the version 2.6 with a lot of new features that make everybody happy. You can check on the link on the top here to see those features. And I just figured out that three days ago, they released the new version 2.6.1 RC1. It means that it's a um, release candidate. It, it's not on their official website, but you can find it on the GitHub with uh, some improvement in which I love the most is the big one, the arrange improvement, the cutting tool improvement, and the emboss improvement. There are also other improvements, but uh, for other uh, functions, I won't mention it here. But let's go through them one by one to see how much it's become better. Just right after a quick look at the sponsor of this video, PCB Way. It's a one-stop solution for all manufacturing needs, from PCB making to CNC machining. All you have to do here is upload your files and you will get an instant code. They have so many choices about material or manufacturing methods that for sure will fulfill what you need for your project. Now let's go back to the test bed for the Prusa Slicer 2.6.1 RC1. Um, this version you cannot download it from their website because it's not official official yet. But you can always download it from the GitHub link of Prusa Slicer. If you go to the end of it, you will see the um, access here. And they have different versions for different operating system. Um, since I'm using Windows 10, I will go with the uh, Win64 right here. But uh, I did try it with Linux operating system, it's also work very fine. Now let's go back to um, the test bed. Uh, they mentioned a lot of improvements, but the three big one is the improvements in cartoon, in embossed test, and in arrangement on the test bed or on the print bed. So um, among three of them, I love the most in the cartoon. So let's go to that first. Here I have a model here. It's a it's a holder for the IKEA light that you can see. Um, you can buy it in IKEA, but I just make extra for myself. Here, if you go to the cartoon here, now in the mode you can choose two options. You can choose either planner, which is the normal cut flat. Or you can choose dovetail one. With the dovetail one, as you can see, they they make a crease like this. Okay, a cut like this. So you can actually slide it in and out. It is very good in case you want to assemble them later with glue and stuff. This is very good. I like this uh, dovetail cut. They use that a lot in woodworking. So let's say here, of course, I'm not going to cut in this way because it's it's not stable, it's not good, but I'm going to cut it from this way. So what I have to do is rotate the uh, planner around Z 90 degree. So you can touch on it and cut it to here. So now you see the dovetail make more sense with this one like this. And um, when you perform cut, of course, there are other functions for you to choose and tune, okay, to fit your thing because if you have Let's say bigger object, you want bigger dovetail, for example, so it's fine. Uh, when you perform cut, now you have this piece right here, and you can actually put them, let's say, prints on this side instead. Uh, yeah, that's good. So now you can easily print them and assemble them together. So that is about cut tone. They're actually Another improvement in uh, cartoon, but let me put it back to where it was. Okay, before we cut. So if you go to cartoon, they have an improvement in the mode, uh, the planner mode. Okay, so it's about the connector. They used to have lock dowel, and now they have the new thing they call it snap. Snap is the um, it's like you snap in and these two legs gonna two pin gonna pop up and, and 
keep everything in place. Um, so let, let's try with snap here. I can add snap one here and one here. And uh, like the other function, you can also put increase the deep, for example, and the size, for example. So to fit your need better. So after that, you can just confirm the connector and you can perform cut. Now let's say we have this and that. We can still uh, turn it upside down just to see how the hole look like. But it's not something look. So you're gonna fit really well in this and this snap in and the two pin gonna keep them stay in place. So that's about the cartoon. This is the biggest or the most useful improvement I would say because you can use it a lot in a simple mechanical part that it has to pin. You can always use that and the doll tail one is my favorite. So apart from this what else is the improvement? Uh, they talk about the arrange, um, arrangement of those part on the print pad. So originally, when you click on arrange, uh, sorry, when you click on arrange, here, this is the, uh, the old version of Pusa. When you click on arrange, everything was putting on the print pad, but with the one that have concave profile, there's nothing inside. They don't, they don't feel it inside. But now you can have the choice to put, to fill the end, the concave area by right click on the arrange. You can find the spacing. You can change the spacing between them and spacing from bed anyway. Um, in the geometry handling, you can choose fast. Fast is exactly the same that they have been so many versions, it's just outside of the concave. You can choose balance, which is in between of that. So let's say when we arrange, is put one thing from in, in the concave area. Like as they said, the accuracy is more or less the same. So Usually it is the same. Let's check the information is said that more or less the same. If you want to go deeper, you can uh, check it here. Okay, they say consider full shape complexity of each object at a certain time. Anyway, so that is for the arrange improvement. Now let's check at the last one, which is the emboss tool improvement uh, let me put it outside the thing for you to see let's say i want to put some text here uh, i can add part and i can add text okay so let's put this it's my channel and uh, from here okay you can choose for it to um, conform to the surface of of the ring let's say you can click on use surface okay so it will adapt to this surface here but as you can see the uh, it was pushing out but it is it have uh, like weird behaviors in here and there and got stretches a little bit the improvement that may, they make is they adding an option sorry let's go to the text right here uh, edit text. They have per cliff orientation. So when you choose that, they are more normal to the profile that they are talking to instead of just popping out. In terms of just parallel it out or offset it out. Now it have the better orientation than normal to the profile that they they attack to. So this is another improvement that they announced. Of course, they are other stuff especially for the one that you can print with uh, multi-material like what they say here but since i don't have that um, machine so i didn't mention it at all so with this version i'm already happy uh, with the cartoon have more function actually now Pusa, i think trying to make their slicer become a, a stl editor so basically you can do some basic tasks 
with uh, Prusa slicer instead of using other functions. For me, it's the same if I use uh, Tinkercad or Blender or uh, Fusion or FreeCAD to edit STL. But now, those simple tasks, you can always use it with Prusa slicer here, the cut, the add material, the, the, as, the adding block or material into it. You can do everything with Prusa. And with this improvement, they make it become more and more favorable slicer for everybody. So yeah, that's all for today. I'm happy that uh, you come back to my channel and see you in the next one.